Let's talk about iTunes subscriptions and how you can delete subscription history, how you can cancel, how you can refund and all other things. Let's begin. At first, what you should know is that all of the iTunes subscriptions can be found in the App Store app. So you just go to the App Store, you can search for it or open it up and there you should be able to see your profile picture. So you click on it and there you can see purchased and subscriptions. Purchased are those apps that you pay for once and don't have to pay again. And subscriptions is any in-app purchase that reoccurs every month or every year. So if you, for example, want to hide or you want to delete the history of your subscriptions or purchases, it is a little bit more complicated than you may think. When it comes to the purchased apps, so those that you only paid for once, you can get here and swipe to the left on any app and the option to hide it is going to appear. So you can pretty much make sure that it doesn't appear in your history anymore. So pretty much nobody knows at a first glance that you paid or like downloaded this app. When it comes to the subscriptions, however, there is no such option. If you go to the subscriptions section in the App Store, there are some that are active and expired. Naturally, those that are active are, have to be visible, like you are currently paying for them. But those expired cannot be deleted that easily. And the only option you have with them is to play the waiting game. And that means that you have to wait one year after which it's going to be deleted from the history of your subscriptions. Is it ridiculous? Probably, but we know Apple and it's not everything. It's not always the way we would like to have it. So this is pretty much what we have to go with. By the way, guys, if you're new on this channel, in case you don't want to miss the next future videos, in which I talk about some practical tips like these, as well as some more advanced content. So make sure to subscribe to stay tuned and know what's going on with Apple. So like I say, you have to wait one year for it to get deleted. But how do you actually remove or how do you cancel the active subscriptions? Well, this is kind of easy. You probably can do it, uh, I mean, on your own without any help, but you just simply tap on one of these active subscriptions, for example, on Apple TV Plus or whatever, and you can actually edit and cancel the free trial or you can change, you can modify it. You can see at the, uh, you can see when exactly the next um, payment is going to happen. So it renews for me on the 1st of July in 2021. I can switch to one year plan, which in the, the long run is going to be a little bit more affordable or like a better deal. But yeah, you can cancel it very easily just by clicking on the red button. So this is how you cancel a subscription, meaning you don't have to pay for it anymore and it doesn't renew automatically. However, if you want to get a refund, that means you want to cancel the subscription and also get the money that you paid for it because you are not satisfied, you didn't expect this, you subscribed accidentally or for whatever reason, in case you want to get a refund, here's how you do it. So you go to the website called reportaproblem.apple.com. The link can, of course, be found down below in the description. And there you will need to sign in using your Apple ID, of course, the one that you have the subscription running on. So you, of course, type in your email, password, and all of the things that it requires you to put in. So if you have the two-factor verification set up, you of course need to have another iPhone with that Apple ID next to you somewhere and you're gonna have to type in the passcode that appears on other devices, but I'm pretty sure that you know how this works. So once you're here, what you can see is a huge screen with the what can I help you with question and you can choose from a couple of things. The first one is to request a refund so you can do that as the first option. So you can click on that and it's going to tell you or ask you for the reason. Just like I was talking about it, you can say that you didn't mean to buy this or that your kid has purchased it for you and stuff like that. So then you can click and you can see all of the subscriptions and the things that you actually pay for. So after choosing the reason why you want to request a refund, what you can do is so simply select one of the things that you paid for and you pretty much go with it that you click next. I mean, I don't want to really want to actually request a refund, so I don't go all the way to the end, but 
But if you finish the process all the way to the end, you're going to receive an email telling you that you have to wait for Apple to see what's really going on if they approve the refund and they can leave you waiting for as long as they want, pretty much in case your reason isn't really like it doesn't make sense, then you, of course, will not get a refund. But based on the previous video I made about this topic, it was kind of a broad way of talking about the refunds. I mean, people usually say or left a comment saying that they did not get the refund at all. I'm not sure what's going on. Apple has to approve it. So you cannot really tell what happens until you actually try to get a refund. Okay, so these were all of the iTunes subscriptions, but what if you know that you actually pay for something monthly, but you cannot find it in the App Store, in the purchases, nor in the subscriptions tab? What can you do about it then? Well, in this case, it means that you simply didn't go through iTunes, you didn't use Face ID or Touch ID to complete the purchase, you pretty much used the dedicated or their own website. Let's say, for example, the YouTube Premium that I have. In iTunes or in the App Store, it tells me that a subscription has expired, it has been cancelled, and I don't pay for it anymore. But I know, in fact, that I have YouTube Premium, so the thing is that I didn't use iTunes to set it up and to get the subscription, but I went over to Google and let them use my credit card and access to it and... And they take my money and I don't use iTunes to get it. So I cannot cancel it using iTunes. I have to go to a YouTube to Google account and cancel it this way. The same goes for Netflix. You don't have to use iTunes to set up Netflix subscription or anything else. You have to understand that you should use, in case you want to have it convenient, you should use iTunes. You have everything together. But... It was a bit more expensive using iTunes for some reason, and over the months, I think it would add up, so that's why I decided to go straight to Google and not to use iTunes, for example, for my YouTube Premium subscription. But this is pretty much everything what I wanted to say in this video. Hopefully it helped you. I really do hope that I provided some value to you, and if I did, if you liked it, then make sure to leave a thumbs up. It's gonna be appreciated very well, and... You can also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future updates, future videos. Thanks a lot for watching your support and see you guys later.